Greetings, RC Model Geeks, and here we are in the shed yet again for hopefully uh, part one of one of the Dancing Wings Mini Eagle build. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd take a break today from the Barnstormer and just have a, a, a go with this little... Uh, a mini eagle um, but of course as soon as I start recording some wanker starts banging so it comes with pretty much everything that you require it's got the prop the motor the ESC the servos and everything the only things you need to add to it are the battery and your receiver so yeah we're gonna build it see if we can get it done in a day and um, well, I don't know what the weather's doing, but it'd be nice to give it a fly. But um, we'll have to see how that goes. Yeah. So it comes with instructions of normal uh, standard. And like I said, it's from uh, DW Hobby, Dancing Wings Hobby. And uh, there is the manual. Basically, it's foam with uh, a bit of ply strengthening, and it's a model of an eagle. And that's all you need to know, really. So, let's put it together, see what happens. Phil's here. Morning. Only Phil. Yeah, well. Well. In body. In body. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, to scare the shit out of the seagulls with this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Colin's not here today. He's got the sniffles, so uh, he's decided to stay at home. The slave's dropped off, is it? Yeah, probably, yeah. Or his back's playing up. Yeah. Or something, <laughs> you know. Right, let's get on with this. Right, so the first thing is to join the two wing halves together. Um, now we're going to use u pour and see what happens. Phil's got the U-Paw in his hand, he's dribbling, his tip's dribbling, isn't it, mate? Yeah, ready to go. Um, is there a strengthener going in there? Yeah, afterwards. So uh, we'll put some glue on and come back to you. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so uh, we've got the wing together. Um, not too complicated. Basically, join the centre down here and then uh, insert some spars. There's one big wing spar underneath there. It's just a bit of flat carbon that goes in. And then it says to put two bits of carbon over the trailing edge there and the leading edge here. Uh, that's obviously just to protect the, uh, the wing from the bands. But what I decided to do was cut it in rather than laying it flat because it's um, stronger. stronger, yeah. It's this stuff, which is like, you know, very thin and wide. And of course the strength in it is when it's vertical, like that. Sure. Not when it's laying on its side, like that, where you can bend it. So I thought I'd just, rather than having it stuck down there, I thought I'd do it vertical, because it's still going to protect the wing from the band but it's going to give the wing a bit of extra strength. Absolutely. Good decision. Yeah, it was a good decision, wasn't it, Phil? Yeah. Uh, and then I've just cut it in at the back here as well, so that it uh, gives it a bit more strength. And then we stuck the uh, the tips on. Um, and the tips look pretty good. Um, it'd be nice if the print had gone a little bit further, because it just doesn't line up. And you can see there's a white gap there. That where it's shrunk. <laughs> well, wow. it's much worse on that side than uh, than on the other side. But uh, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Um, looking good for a lump of foam. It's looking pretty good. Yeah. So that is the wing done. The wing is finished. So it's only the fuselage and the tail now. Uh, there's some bits on here, yeah? Oh, yeah, no, no, we're not done. We've got to stick the leading edge bits on there. Yeah. Yeah, well done, Phil. Go on, it's lucky you're here, mate. <laughs> Jeez. Well, uh, that's, so, it, like uh, that. that's it. These have got to stick on the front there. Yeah. Like that. To give it more bird shape. Yeah. So we've got to stick them on now. 
Yeah. Okay, back soon when we've done them. Okay. Now the wing is done. Got the two front parts stuck on there. And here. So that is it. We can put that to one side and hopefully uh, that U pour will uh, really go off. But yeah, looking good. So next up is the fuselage. Uh, we'll see if I get that done. I've got the swallow coming over this afternoon with more problems. So uh, we'll see what happens. But I'm still trying to get this done in one day. Back soon. Okay, well, <laughs> the swallow's been, the swallow's gone, the swallow's coming back. His, uh, his Bixler is there in uh, quite a sorry state. Um, he's just gone home to see if he can find some more bits to repair it. So, meanwhile, we're back at the Mini Eagle. I've managed to stick one side on. That is my lot this afternoon so far. And it's starting to get dark outside. So, hopefully we'll get at least the other side stuck on before uh, the swallow returns. We'll uh, have to see how it uh, goes. So, uh, back with you in a minute. Right. Well, I've been motoring on with this. Uh, I've got the fuselage just sort of uh, stuck together. And uh, there it is. Got the servos in there. And all the towel and stuff done. <coughs> Here's the two tail halves. They're all ready to go. They've got horns glued into them there. One there. And one there. Now it's a V-tail, so uh, obviously the uh, the tail surfaces will be stuck on in a V-shape. And to facilitate that, we've got a bit of a uh, bit of wood here that I can't pick up at the moment. It's so straight; it's stuck to the bench. There it is. So this is going to stick on here, basically like that. And uh, and then the towel surfaces glue to that, and away we go. That is our uh, their tail. So uh, obviously it doesn't glue like that, does it? <laughs> it? Must glue something like that. Well, it glues somehow, anyway, and that makes a uh, <laughs> a tail. <laughs> uh, it looks like it goes upside down, actually. Uh, I'm just looking at the instructions. Oh, I suppose I might as well follow them at some time. Yeah, there you go, it sits upside down. So, uh, yeah, these basically glue on like that. Oh, come on. There you go. Yeah, it glues on like that, and then the other side glues on uh, on the other side. Oh, well, it's been one of those days today. <laughs> yes, yeah, had the swallow over all afternoon, uh, so that's why this bird ain't finished. Now, there's one oh, mm, a problem with this plane so far. Uh, it's only one, um, and that is actually the instructions don't really tie up to what you get in the kit, <laughs> uh, like this. Uh, these two ply things in here are nothing like uh, what's shown there. Um, I don't know if you can see down there. See, you've got this this bit of ply here with two notches in it at the front. Well, it doesn't exist on there. Now, you would have presumed that those two notches were designed to take a firewall that goes across there. Uh, and you know then the motor uh, mounts on that uh, but it doesn't because that is your fire that's your firewall there and as you can see there's no notches in it 
and if you actually put this in and line it up um, with where it should be uh, as you can see the motor assembly ain't actually long enough uh, so that the prop clears the nose you know the thing's got to be mounted somewhere back here like that uh, you know to give you a bit of clearance so yeah it doesn't all sort of tie up um, it's like there's a mix of maybe old parts and new parts you know like a mark one and a mark two and they're sort of all muddled up really but uh, anyway I mean it's a minor problem because uh, you know you just get some old scrap wood and you, you glue it together don't you um, but yeah so I'm gonna have to cobble something together uh, to mount that motor and it needs an offset on it as well it needs a bit of right and a bit of down thrust so um, <clears throat> yes um, but I'm going to do that tomorrow this was going to be a one part video but with the swallow turning up and then salt marsh peat turning up uh, and then having the issue of sorting that motor mount out uh, it ain't happening because <laughs> it's now uh, quarter to seven in the evening on Monday. Uh, what? I thought this would be a nice leisurely break from the uh, barnstormer, but obviously not. But do you know what? It's looking bloody nice. Um, yeah, I can't wait to uh, to get this thing in the air. I'm just going to grab the wing, and it weighs nothing. I mean, this wing is so light. Um, we get the fuselage there and plonk that on there and that sort of drops down there I don't know if we can get far enough back to uh, actually get a view of it but uh, yeah it's looking quite good um, there was another thing that was wrong as well uh, yeah they supply a dowel um, for holding the bands on well, this is a dowel that goes through the fuselage here and through the fuselage at the back now they only supply one bit of doweling and you've got to basically chop it in two uh, but the dowel isn't long enough uh, you can only basically get one length out of it um, so yeah so oh there it is yeah here you go so there's one dowel there and you know allowing for a little bit of band that bit that's left over isn't enough to do that back bit there so minor problem um, or it would be but I haven't got any doweling so uh, I'll have to look through my scrap and see if I've got some doweling that size uh, failing that I might just use um, a bit of carbon I've got this carbon tube here and I'm thinking I'll just put two bits of carbon tube through it there and there now it's, the wing is held on by four rubber bands which are these here uh, lovely jubbly nothing wrong with them they're good and yeah I mean that is it for the day uh, there is no more <laughs> okay well it's the uh, it's the next day now um, I was going to make this into two parts but um, I'm just going to carry on so what I've done is I've made up um, a ply plate you can see it where it slots into the original one there on both sides and also this sort of spreader across the bottom there um, that's all set up to give the correct side thrust and uh, down thrust so all I've got to do now is glue that motor and firewall which is here uh, straight onto that and then that's it job done for the uh, for the motor mounts I've already checked out the ESC made sure it's uh, connected the right way around because I'm going to shove all that lot in there as well at the same time so that is where we are at the moment and I'll be back with you when I've glued that firewall in. Okay, so this plane 
or this bird is almost there. Got the tail glued on. Got the uh, the wing band holders, uh, which should be obviously a bit of dowel, um, but is now a bit of carbon tube because there wasn't enough dowel. Last thing to do then is just put the two push rods in for the uh, for the tail. So I'm going to see how uh, that goes. Back soon. Okay. There it is. Everything's connected up. Everything's working. Motor runs in the right direction. Looking good. Right, I'm going to put the wing on, let you see what it looks like. So, there it is. All ready for a maiden later this week. Looking good. So, uh, all up weight, ready to fly, including the battery. 450 grams, all up weight. Which is not too shabby. So, let's look forward to the end of the week when we go and maiden it. And thanks to Thomas, Thomas Hardy, for sending this uh, this eagle. Um, you're a real star, mate. So that's it. See you all soon. We're back on the um, the barnstormer. Probably tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, we need to get the barnstormer finished now. So I'll see you all then. Bye. Thank you for watching Captain Rob's RC Model Geeks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. If you want to see more of the same type of videos, don't forget you can subscribe. If you want to support us, you can use PayPal, paypal.me forward slash RC Model Geeks. If you want to contact us, you can email us rcmodelgeeks at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.